November 19th, 2009 was the day that Google released the Chromium OS open source project. Now they had previously announced the Chrome operating system, but on the 19th they've actually released the open source project, so you can go and look at the code base, even get it running, and just to see, you know, what an early early build of the Chrome operating system is going to look like. Now the most intriguing thing, obviously, is getting this running to see how the operating system is going to feel and look once it's installed next year with the primary release. Now again, this is pre-alpha, so this is going to be really nitty-gritty stuff uh, in terms of the user interface. It's not going to it's not done, of course. So it may not be as efficient and definitely won't be as efficient as the final product will be. But I've been reading that there's been a lot of hassle in getting this running on your computer. Now I'm just going to show you a really easy way to get this going in a virtual machine. So instead of messing around with any of Google's releases, let's just get a pre-made image. Go to gdgt.com slash google slash chrome dash os slash download. Now from there you can download the VMware image or the VirtualBox image. For this demonstration, I'm going to download the VMware image and then unzip it. Now they also have a version for a USB bootable version, but that requires Linux and as they say it gets complicated. So you can download and try, but these steps are going to show you how to do either VirtualBox or VMware. But again, it's going to be demoed in VMware. VirtualBox will be very similar. So once you download and download it, Go to virtual. Go to your virtual machines in VMware Fusion. Click New. Continue without a disk. Choose an existing virtual disk. From there, browse to where you downloaded the file, the unzipped version that is. Click Continue. Just leave that as other. That doesn't matter. And now you could click Finish. But what I'm going to do is actually press Customize Settings because I just want to change the amount of RAM but it'll go pretty similar. So you just click processors and RAM. I'm going to change it to two virtual processors and one gigabyte of RAM. And you could change other settings if you wanted to. Now I'm just going to be finished. So here's the Chromium OS once you get it started. Now your username and password are just going to be your Google account so these settings won't be the same for you as they are for me of course so once you log in hold on it looks like I mistyped something there and I noticed that this screen is isn't done yet because I can't navigate back to the top there we go so I had to wait for it to I had to send my request to log in and then have it fail so I could re-log in and now the chromium operating system is starting here it is, and let's restore so that we'll get the full experience, I suppose. It'll automatically log you into your calendar from your account. And as you can see here, discuss Google Chrome operating system. So that's just the really easy way to install Google Chrome OS. Just download the image and open it up in VMware Fusion. That way you can get a fully working and operating taste of what this new operating system from Google is going to be like. I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the Chrome OS and have a nice day.